really good friend of mine, like good player, he played for Milwaukee. Uh, he wanted, he was a big uh, Bob Marley fan. So, so he wanted, I made a whole Bob Marley stuff for him. I made, uh, Eddie wanted me to make a, uh, he was a big Jimi Hendrix. I made a Jimi Hendrix jacket and a guitar case for him. So I mean, everybody had their own thing. You know, it's not just NBA or anything. Not, it's not only about championship, it was only a small part of my business. Does custom designs dominate a good part of your custom day? Custom design, listen, I do the all I mean, forget about the urban culture uh, designing. Uh, are we taking one of them? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, because this way is not. Go ahead. Um, urban was, designs. Okay, you know, we're talking about like, all my jackets were not all about urban designs. Okay. I did also the Andrew Dice Clay jackets. I did George Michael. You did, did Dice. That. Every single jacket he ever wore was mine. You did the fringies. I did all the stuff for him. I did all the jackets for him. I did, I did the, the, the one when he was in, in Times Square, Dice Rules and Broken Bad Boy, everyone. I mean, in fact, like he did some shows where in, in the stage it was only my jackets in the back, you know? I mean, right. I mean, Dice is still a very good friend of mine. So basically, I did, you, I did, you, you, were, you were iconic before hip hop even embraced you. I, I was doing with, I did Michael Jackson, I did, I did Madonna, I did George Michael, I did. Uh, um, Guns N' Roses, uh, Motley Crue, all, all the rockers, I like all the 80s rockers band, 90s rockers band, I should do all that stuff for them. I think it says a lot about your character that you can deal with those types of A-list celebrities and still have love for a guy like Jay to kiss when you see him in public. Yeah, of course, really. I mean, I like, I'm, I'm a big fan and I'm, you know, I mean, again, I mean, we, we, we uh, reach out on, 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 on social media. I mean, that's one of the things that, that has been amazing where I've been able to reach out much more people through through uh, it's a way. love them, love that the I, I, people reach out to me. Some of them I reach out to them. I mean, Jada, I, I mean, like uh, ASAP reached out to me on on Instagram. Right. And I was telling you the story, ASAP Rocky. And, but you know, I mean, it, it's that's the beauty of it. You know, we we you know, I, mean, I I converse with everybody on on Instagram. How did ASAP Rock, Rocky approach you? He sent me a message telling me that um, um, call me Jeff Ham. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and uh, and I and I said, thank you. You know, I didn't know who we were. I mean, in pay attention, I get about 300 DMs a day, so so I didn't pay attention for much. And he said, well, I've been following you. I'm from Harlem, and I just did, a, you know, like I remember Cam and and uh, Martin Lawrence and all the NBA players and so on and so forth. And and I said, well, thank you, my friend. I really appreciate you that you're your fan, whatever. I mean, I right. again, I still didn't pay attention. I saw that the the account was verified, but I I, I, I didn't see that it was. Uh, it's a Rocky. Then mm -hmm. he said, you know, why don't, uh, if you're in Los Angeles, why don't we, we grab lunch? I said, who wants to take me out to lunch, you know? So I look at the name, it's a Rocky. Oh my God, I mean, 15 million followers, I don't know how many followers he has. And when you see the followers, the when no, you no. see the followers, did you, did you know that he's actually reputed and, um, Associated with fashion and hip hop, like yeah, no, 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 no. no once I start, I said if somebody, somebody wants to get me lunch, I mean, you, I mean, what does he want to take me out to lunch? I mean, like, and I said, well, that, I, I saw the guy was kind of legit, you know, I mean, in a way. And then I said, well, ASAP Rocky is one of the biggest, one of the biggest name, if not the biggest name in in hip hop and fashion. You know, right. I mean, you have Travis, you have those guys, you have a lot of great names, but you know, he's definitely one of the top guys. And uh, and I met him, and we just hit it off, and. The next thing I know, he flew me to New York to uh, to uh, uh, Yams uh, Yams Day, and uh, I spent a couple of days with him, and and I'm just working on some designs right now for him. Is there a, a European influence in your designs? Because when I was when I was overseas, I noticed a lot of the fashion that they were wearing was becoming popular in the United States. It almost looked like the fashion that was overseas, the the uh, the, the, the tight fitting. Pants, the yeah. joggers, the inspiration uh, came from overseas. I have to tell you, no, I had no influence. Uh, Europe had no influence on me. Okay. Uh, what had a real strong influence on me was America, because I, I, when I moved here, I was very young. I, my background was math and physics. I mean, I never was a designer, and I really basically started designing just based on my own taste. And my taste was America. I love American stuff. I love. Uh, college jackets. I love. Remember when the first time I came to America and I was 16 years old. I bought like I spent all my money at UCLA just to buy college merchandise, you know, right. and and a jacket and, and 
and that's all I cared about. I mean, I love the college jackets. I like the, the Indian jackets with the fringes like we talked about. Uh, I like... Uh, Is that what you call that design, an Indian? The Indian Indian inspired Western stuff, Western culture. I like right. the Western culture. I like I like all the, the, the all the stuff that was sports, the jerseys that look, you know. And and I got influenced mostly by American and time of the of the moment of whatever I was doing, but not influenced at all by 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 uh, the French fashion because I was not a, a connoisseur of French fashion. Right. But one thing that helped me out a lot, I think is the fact that I was very uh, always focused on details and quality. I mean, that's one of the things that we learned in France, that everything has to be top quality. If it's a wine, it has to be top quality. If somebody goes to a restaurant, they have to make sure that every little detail is done and so on and so forth. And I really pride myself in taking my jacket and making it the best quality possible I can. Not only because I love it, but also my name is on it. So I have to not only sell myself, but I have to sell the product as well. And 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 the, the attention to details. You know, the, I'm not going to say the bells and whistles, but really it's just not because I want to be... Uh, but because it's a special package that I'm doing, you know. I'm, right. Like I said, in every single jacket, high-end jacket, I sign it. Because a few years back, people start coming to me and they say, you know... Uh, I have two of your pieces. I said, well, why would they say I have two of your jackets? Right. The two of pieces. I mean, usually when it's you refer art. to pieces, people refer to art. Right. And I said, you know, there's something, there's some correlation that they look at my jackets more than just a piece of clothing that you wear because you're cold. It's a, it's a statement that you want to make. So that's why I start basically signing every, my, every one of my jackets and putting a limited edition jacket on right. the inside of the jacket to just try to make sure there was we memorialize that jacket at that particular time. When I see your jackets, I see um, New York City graffiti. I see, I see the colors. I think your jackets kind of yes, look like a, a, a. They call them bombers. That's what they call the yeah, trains. When the train was right. painted, they called it bombed out train. Yeah. The colors. It, it looks like a, a mural. Yes, I mean they you know, like frescoes. You know whatever it is. Yeah, because it, it is not as, as, as raw as graffiti because I'm very well versed in the graffiti world also as, as I don't know if I told you also um, I own a sh I, I'm, I'm, I'm an artist as well I okay. paint and, and I do art pieces and also I, I'm an owner of, a, of, a, of an art show called uh, Street Art Fair okay so I own the name Street basically to, to and I put up a show uh, a few times a year in fact the next show is going to be May 9th in, uh, in Los Angeles at the Peterson Museum what type of artist? You, where, what type of artist do you attract? Uh, unfortunately, where Peterson is, where where Big and Small got shot, you know, so oh, that, okay. in that building. Uh, uh, basically, uh, I don't go after necessarily the big, big uh, street artists. I go mostly after the emerging artists. It's basically an opportunity for a younger artists or so people that are established and contemporary artists as well to showcase their art and and uh, and 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 uh, I have a platform where they can uh, can grow. And I help them grow, and, and it, it's it's one of my business. Do you have a specific um, client that you have a great relationship that they just have to have a Jeff Hammy jacket of all the celebrities? Who do you who do you hear from the most? Jeff, I need a new jacket, man. What's up? Oh, I have a lot of people, but you know, over the years, probably one of my best clients and one of my dearest person that I love the most is probably Mike Tyson. Iron Mike. Yeah, Mike was, is the greatest for me, one of the greatest of all time. People don't underestimate, and they have such a bad perception of him, but he's the most loving, smartest, kind, generous man that you could ever meet. You know, right. I, I love Mike, I mean, he's just been, always been great to me, and uh, always been a, a, a great uh, uh, a fan of my work and, and supporter of my work. Speaking of Mike, am of speaking of Mike Tyson, he had a high-profile high incident in the 1980s with another boxer by the name of Mitch Green. It happened at Dapper Dan's. I remember, Clovis. right? Um, I see some similarities with some of the pieces that you do, like your jackets. Could kind of look, they kind of favor the actual Dapper Dan, Gucci, Louis Vuitton pieces right. that were being made in the 1980s. Yeah. Have you heard that? Yeah, and 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 obviously I have. 
mad respect for for Dapper Dan. Uh, unfortunately, I never met him. Oh yeah, never met him. I mean, it, it's long overdue. I think I probably will meet him this year. But uh, funny enough, he just refer he refers me to people to come to see me. I had like Saquon Barkley from the New York uh, Giants that 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 reach out to me and say, "How do you get my number?" I say, "You know." That but then gave me your number, you know, because <laughs> he wanted the jacket. He wanted to honor Kobe for the Super Bowl, and he wanted to have one of my jackets, uh, that I, one of my personal jackets, to 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 wear for for the Super Bowl. Often, do you get people reach out to you for like when they have the Grammys and stuff like right. that. People approach you, Jeff. I want to get a jacket for the night. Right. Yes. How does how 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 do you go about pricing a jacket so um, it, it remains? A Jeff Hamilton exclu exclusive and affordable. No, it, 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 usually I, I don't sell them. I mean, I let them, I rent them to them. I rent them or I loan them to them, depending. I mean, mostly I loan them to them. But, you know, I just get a if I don't know so the person. Is, so if, 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 if friends of mine like Dave East or, or, or ASAP or whatever, they want a jacket or Fab, of course, you know, or Jim Jones, they want a jacket for a video. I mean, I just give it to them and then they send it back to me. But if it's somebody that I don't know, like new people, I know, like for instance, the other day I had uh, a stylist that called me and said, I want to have a jacket for uh, for the All-Star. I had no idea what it was for. I said, well, you know, you have to give me $7,000 deposit on the credit card and I'll loan you the jacket, I'll charge you, but when you give me the jacket, you give me the money back. Right. And then I know it was for, for Chance. So, I mean, Chance the Rapper. Chance oh, yeah. He was the at, when he performed at the All-Star Game. Right, exactly, yeah. You know, man, you everywhere, man. Yeah. <laughs> you everywhere. Um, your signature, lots of lots of bright colors. Uh, between you working for guests, doing the Jeff Hamilton jacket, you told me you did some designs for cross colors. There's always been a great presence of colors. Did that always work for you? Black people or tropical people? We love the cut. We love colors. Me too. Listen, I'm I'm I'm, I'm born in Africa, so I'm, I'm born in, in Morocco, and and I'm a Leo. So for me, it's like, you know, I, I'm like a I want to be like a shiny uh, penny, you know. So like the sun. So I mean, I, I'm attracted to colors. I right. mean, I, my traits are like I love color. This is like I've done a lot of jackets, very subtle, tone on tone, black on black, you know, for different markets. But but what really uh, what really uh, resonates with me are our colors because you really can show a much more beautiful picture by, by expressing it. Great. <laughs>